hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to discuss about uh, another uh, instrument uh, a sensor a transducer uh, which is used to measure a physical parameter so in the previous video we discussed about uh, inductance sensor so in this video we are going to discuss about variable reluctance taco generator so this uh, device or this instrument is generally used for the measurement of angular velocity okay angular speed associated with motors generators or rotating devices okay so this variable reluctance taco generator it is based on faraday's law of electromagnetic induction okay faraday's law and as I said, it is used for the measurement of linear and angular velocity, mostly angular velocity associated with rotating electrical machines. So before that, uh, discussing the basics or uh, the other things associated with the taco generator, let us first uh, just go through Faraday's law. So the Faraday's law states that uh, when the magnetic flux linking with uh, any coil okay or conductor it fluctuates or changes with respect to time an emf is induced and that emf is directly proportional to this rate of change of flux and the mathematical expression of this emf is given by e is equal to minus n d phi by dt where n is this number of turns of coil wound over that conductor and d phi by dt is the rate of change of flux with respect to time. So this variable reluctance taco generator, the design, the construction, this consists of a magnet, okay, a magnet with a number of turns of coil wound over it, okay. This is a magnet with a number of turns of coil wound over it. So this produces a magnetic field in close vicinity of which we have a toothed wheel okay which is free to rotate it rotates in close vicinity of this magnetic field produced by this magnet okay so this here the concept of reluctance and inductance which we have already discussed in the previous video also in inductance sensor here that also again uh, it will involve the same things about magnetomotive force so if you have not watched that video so please i would recommend that you watch that video first i have already discussed this in the electrical machines uh, uh, video also so in a magnetic circuit a magnetomotive force mmf drives a magnetic flux through a circuit reluctance okay magnetic circuit reluctance so it is similar to the electrical circuit in which electromotive force emf drives a current through a uh, the circuit resistance so this magnetomotive force it is uh, given by the product of the flux and reluctance okay phi into r also this magnetomotive force can be written as the product of the number of turns of coil and the current flowing through each turn okay which is small i okay n i so we can write that the flux is equal to n i by r or the total flux associated with this coil which is the flux associated with the total coil it is n phi where n is the number of turns so it is written as n square i by r so the total flux is inversely proportional to the circuit reluctance and the inductance is the flux divided by the individual current okay the total flux divided by the individual current that is inductance which is equal to n square by r but that is not required here but still now this property okay the total flux and reluctance this relationship is used in the variable reluctance taco generator so the back emf which is generated here when this tooth wheel rotates in close vicinity of this magnet 
the back emf which is generated as per faraday's law is given by e is equal to minus dn by dt so as per faraday's law of electromagnetic induction when this tooth wheel rotates in close vicinity of this magnetic field the magnetic flux associated with it, it changes with respect to time and the back emf which is generated is e is equal to minus dn by dt the negative sign because it opposes it is it opposes the flux so the back emf is equal to minus dn by dt and the total flux n is inversely proportional to reluctance so this property will come into play so how it comes into play let's see so the tooth wheel movement okay this movement of this tooth wheel it causes a change in the reluctance of the circuit so when the tooth of the wheel okay these tooths okay okay this protrusions on this wheel when they are close to the pole of the magnet okay this this pole of the magnet when these tooths are close to the pole the reluctance is minimum okay minimum reluctance minimum reluctance means magnetic flux is high because the they are inversely related with each other and high magnetic flux or high total flux means the back emf is high and when this tooth wheel moves away from the pole piece this pole the reluctance starts increasing and becomes maximum now maximum reluctance or high reluctance means less flux and less flux means less emf so the emf is alternating in nature similar to an ac signal it uh, reaches a peak point and then it reaches a uh, the negative peak okay crest and trough so that is related to the variation of the reluctance with the tooth wheel movement so when any of these teeth they approach the pole piece and they are close to the pole piece the reluctance is minimum when they are away means in these gaps the gaps between the tooths at these gaps the reluctance is maximum so now how can we measure angular velocity from it so this back emf which is uh, mathematically expressed as e is equal to minus dn by dt it can be written as e is equal to minus dn by d theta into d theta by dt now d theta by dt is the change of angular position with respect to time which is called as the angular velocity it is the rate of change of angular position that is change in the angle okay angular position with respect to time which is called as angular velocity equals to d theta by dt and its unit is radians per second or revolutions per second or revolutions per minute generally uh, in uh, motors and generators it is used in revolutions per second or revolutions per minute so that here is written as this output voltage or emf is equal to minus dn by d theta into omega which is the angular velocity so this is the important relationship of this variable reluctance tacho generator so the output is calibrated in terms of this to give us the output directly in terms of revolutions per second revolutions per minute or radians per second radians per second is generally not used generally it is in terms of revolutions per second or revolutions per minute so this is the most important relationship here which gives us the output angular velocity of the rotating part so here we have discussed about the variable reluctance tacho generator uh, the basic uh, principles how of operation the construction and uh, the expression okay the output expression and how it is related to angular velocity so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much